Actually, it looks kind of gross. <laughs> Smells really good. Yeah. Okay. You want to tell them what's on it? I don't even know what's all on it. We got the Supreme Shawarma. So it's like this falafel kind of bread mm -hmm. with falafel. thinly shaved meat. And then he put like red cabbage, carrots, lettuce, spinach. Um, onions. raw onions on it, then put garlic sauce and like a chili paste kind of sauce on it. But we're really hungry, so I'm very this. So it is huge and messy. Yeah, look how big it is. And the chili paste is spicy, but it's not too, too bad. Probably gave a smile. Probably. It looks so good. Clay pot. Ye me. Clay pot ye me. <laughs> oh, are you going? It's been recording. Oh, okay. Okay. So we are at Sate Palace. It is a Malaysian restaurant. And we ordered. <laughs> and we ordered clay pot ye me. Did I get it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So it is called an egg gravy. I've never heard of it before. So it looks like it has like noodles in it and like vegetables. I suck at chopsticks. So cabbage, carrots, uh, mushrooms, eggs. I can kind of see how it, it kind of looks like gravy-ish. Lots of noodles. It's really hot. It came out like boiling. So I'm gonna try a little bit of it. It smells pretty good. If I can grab anything. They put a little bit of everything. So I put a little bit of cabbage, some noodles, a green bean, and then a little bit of the broth. Okay. And then I'm gonna go for it. It's kind of smoky. It has like a smoky flavor to it. So it almost tastes like they like, I don't know. It's good, it's just smoky. So I wonder if that's like part of like the clay pot. Maybe they like put it in an oven and then let it go. But yeah, it's pretty good. So this is stop number two of our food tour today in Wellington. Yeah, so we're gonna finish this and then go to the next spot. here and it looks like over there I don't know if somebody was exiting the building or what but the wind managed to catch the glass door and fling it really wide open and actually broke all the glass and shoved it down the street some of it's even in the road it's crazy so we took a break from our food tour and we are stopping to check out the Tapapa Museum. It is a free museum in Wellington. So that's cool that it's free. And then we get to learn about New Zealand history. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big, so we'll kind of give it a little look soon. Yeah. And we had a lot of people that said, go to this museum. So we're going to check it out.
I really like that portion of the museum. It was really cool. I really like history and especially like wartime history. So it was a really, really cool exhibit for, at least yeah. for me. No, the amount of detail they put like into the people, like they look just so real. The only reason like I wouldn't assume they were real is because of like the size, because they were like three times the size of like an average human. But like the hair on the people looked real. Like they made them like, they made the, like the sweat like glisten. And like the one woman was like crying. It actually like legitimately looked like she was crying. Like, and like each hair was put into like a pore. Yeah, yeah, like the real hair. It, it was crazy. And at the end, they had like the um, a water bowl of like holy water. I think and it was just water. Water and the Mori people here, they dipped their fingers in there and then they sprinkled on them to like relieve them of dead spirits essentially. So it was really cool. This museum is way, way better than what I, than what I expected. Be. So really cool. You should go to the Te Papa Museum if you're in Wellington ever. interesting looking at least just kind of hobbled together sort of but it smells good and all the burgers sounded really interesting so we'll see what they're like we got the McFilla what's on the McFilla it's double patty double cheese bacon and hash browns I think yeah and then we got corn nuggets yep an order corn nuggets and we got a Phoenix brand cola and ginger beer. I'm excited for this. So we're at Ecom's in Wellington. And then act because everything here will or if it says that it has bacon on it, it's like American ham or you know, like if you order Canadian bacon on a pizza. But this is actually bacon bacon, which they call it streaky bacon if they're gonna have what we would call bacon and just bacon if it's what we would call ham at home. But this is a big burger. Yeah, I don't know if you can even fit your mouth around that. Oh my gosh, he's going for it. Is that the best burger you've had in your life? I don't think the best, but it was really good. And don't worry, there's not too much mustard on it, so. Sweet, okay, perfect. And then Anyways, we got... Corn nuggets. I'm normally not like a huge fan of corn nuggets, but these are good. This is their Ecom's sauce. It so it kind of tastes like, like salsa. It looks like salsa, so that makes sense. It's kind of like a peppery salsa. Cool. I'm a fan. Okay, you're just gonna eat it all without me. Yep. <laughs> so we went to Florida's on our food tour, and we found pavlova. It kind of looks like a meringue type thing with a whipped cream, custard, strawberries. It looks really good. So we ordered coffees. We've been craving coffee. I don't even really like coffee, but I have been wanting coffee. So, and I'm not even tired. Oh, it is like, oh, that's so weird. Oh, it like crumbles. I don't know hmm. what that is. It's like a, I don't know. Oh, it's chewy. Huh. Mmm. That was so good. It like melts in your mouth. 
the Americano. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And the latte with the almond milk. Thank you so much. Bye. And we got our coffees. This is really good. You're gonna like this. Yeah. I can hold your elbow. I'll help you support. Oh, okay. my thank you. So we just finished up our food tour. Well, yep. it was a very, very short food tour, but it's been a good day. We're walking down Kiva Street right now, and we are heading to our hostel. Yep. So, what was your favorite thing? I really like sweets, so I have to say the pavlova. I think my favorite thing was the shawarma. Yeah. I would say probably my least favorite thing that we ate today was the, uh, oh, the clay pot, whatever the heck it's Gimme. called. Yeah, like it was like good, but compared that was... to everything else that we've had, like just the shawarma and the pavlova was just super good. The so. clay pot yimi was probably my least favorite thing too. Not that it was bad, it was just, yeah. Very I interesting. Feel, yeah, I feel like it needed like more spice. Like I like spicy things. So and it, it was just like it was very smoky. I'm just not super into smoky. I'm like holding Austin's arm up right now <laughs> to make the, <laughs> the footage stable. People were definitely looking at us, but you know what? I don't really care. So it's 4.55 and we're in line with all the rest of the cars to get on the ferry. Going from the North Island to the South Island. Hey, good morning, how are we doing? Good morning. Good. All right, and is it just the two of you traveling? Yep. yep. Good, you guys are gonna be popping down lane number two, okay? Thank Alrighty. you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh, that was easy. He was very happy. I just love it whenever people are happy. Makes me happy. Clay pot, me, me, ye, me, ye, me, clay pot, ye, clay pot, ye, me, clay pot, ye, me, <laughs> clay pot, ye, me, big sucker. Yeah, that would make a really good chicken wing, good chicken leg, nice and meaty. Chill out, woman. Yeah. Yeah, you take turns. You alternate. That's how the world works. I think Which, so. I think farmland's really pretty, so we'll we'll just have it's to see. Because you're a redneck. No. <laughs> yep. Definitely. No, because I like all the cows and the sheep out in yep. the fields. Yep. So how was getting out of the tiny, tiny parking spot this morning? Mm. It was kind of like that scene in Austin Powers where he has to make like a hundred point turn. <laughs> At least that's what it felt like. Mm. And then it was nerve wracking getting out without scratching up the rental car. Yeah. I don't even know how you're gonna even bite that. 